Hi guys, it's me, Teacher Goyne. In this video, we will talk about subtracting rational algebra expressions with similar and dissimilar denominators. So without further ado, let's do this topic. So in the first part, we have similar denominators. So when you say similar denominators, meaning they, are, they have the same denominators. And in the second part, we will do rational algebra expressions with the similar, meaning the denominators are different. So let's start with example number one. 12 over x minus 5 minus 7 over x minus 5. Since the denominators are similar, what we need to do is to simply copy the denominators, x minus 5, as single denominator, and subtract your numerator. We have 12 minus 7. Simplify your numerator. That would be 5 over x minus 5. And double check if you can still simplify the answer or this expression. For this time, it's already simplified. So the correct answer is 5 over x minus 5. Now let's move on with item number 2. Number 2, we have here 5x minus plus 3 over x plus 2 minus 2x minus 1. For this case, we will copy same denominator, x plus 2. Copy the first numerator, we have 5x plus 3, then minus. Since this one is a binomial, or the numerator is a binomial, it closes it using a parenthesis, you have 2x minus 1. So what, what is the purpose of this one? Because we will change the operation and then change the sign of the terms in 2x minus 1. So it will become 5x plus 3, then negative times positive, that would be negative 2x. Negative times negative is positive, that is plus 1, over x plus 2. Simplify your numerator. As you can see, we can combine 5x and negative 2x, that would be 3x. And here, the constants, 3 plus 1, that would be plus 4 over x plus 2. Example number 2 is already simplified, so we can have this as our final answer. Okay? So I hope you're doing fine with this topic. So let's move on with example number 3. For number 3, the denominators are x minus 3, x minus 3. Let's copy that. We have x minus 3. And then for the numerator, 6x minus 2. Copy minus and then parenthesis, 4x plus 5. Copy, 6x minus 2. And here, we will multiply the signs. This will become negative 4x minus 5 over x minus 3. Since we are done changing the signs of the binomial, we can combine the like terms. 6x minus 4x, that would be 2x. Negative 2 minus 5, that is negative 7 over x minus 3. And there you have it. This is the answer for item number 3. Okay? So, are we doing good? Now, we can pause for a while and you can try number 4. Okay. We have x squared plus 5x over x plus 1 minus 2x squared minus x over x plus 1. So, basically, we will copy x plus 1, x squared plus 5x minus parenthesis, 2x squared minus x. So we have x squared plus 5x, negative times positive is negative 2x squared, negative times negative is positive, so this negative x would be plus x over x plus 1. Now in this case, guys, we can proceed with the combination, combining like terms. We can combine x squared and negative 2x squared. That would be negative x squared because 2x squared is higher than x squared. 5x plus, 6, uh, plus x, that would be plus 
6x over x plus 1. So I'm trying to check if we can still simplify this, but there's nothing more to simplify. So we can declare that item number 2 is, uh, for this item, number 4, this is the final answer. We have x, negative x squared plus 6x over x plus 1. Now let's move on with the next part of our video. We will do the similar denominators. As you can see in number one here, we have here five x minus three over x squared. So how are we going to solve this kind of equation, this kind of expression with the similar denominators? We need to figure out what is the LCD between the denominators x and x squared. So this time, for this kind of example or denominators, the LCD is definitely x squared. If you will list down all the multiples of x and x squared, the first multiple would be x squared. So after identifying the LCD, we will do our normal subtraction. So I will put it here, x squared. So what would happen is that we will perform divide, then multiply. Here, divide, then multiply. Follow my lead x squared divided by x is x, then times this one, which is 5. Okay? How did I get this? Divide this here, then multiply the answer here. So x squared divided by x is x, x squared, uh, that, and then times x. Then copy minus sign. Now let's do it here. x squared divided by x squared is 1, then times x uh, times 3, okay, simplify this one, x minus 5 is 5x, minus 1 times 3, that would be 3, over x squared. So as you can see, we cannot combine 5x and 3, and then we cannot simplify this fraction anymore, meaning the correct answer is simply 5x minus 3 over x squared, okay? Now let's move on with the next example. As you can see, we have here 2 over x plus 1 minus 1 over x minus 2. For the LCD, since this is a binomial and they are different, automatically guys, you can put as your LCD as the factors of the two binomials, meaning the LCD must be x minus 1 times x minus 2. So what will happen is that we will put it here as our denominator, x minus 1 times x minus 2. Sorry for that. This would be plus pala, and this is plus. Now, remember, we will divide and multiply. So x plus 1 times x minus 2 divided by x plus 1, the answer is x minus 2, then times 2, minus, so again, recap the tayo, x plus 1 times x minus 2 divided by, this is denominator, may eliminate siya. So what happens here is this, x plus 1 times x minus 2 over x plus 1, it will be canceled out, so the remaining term or the binomial is x minus 2, then multiply by 2. And here, we will also divide this here. x plus 1 times x minus 2 divided by x minus 2. We can cancel this out, cancel this out. We will have x plus 1. And then times 1. Okay? So for this part, we can use distributive property to multiply. We have 2x. And this one will become minus 4. And here, it will become negative 1, and distribute negative 1 times x, it will be negative x. Negative 1 times 1, that will be negative 1 over, copy, x plus 1, x minus 2. Simplify. Combine like terms. 2x minus x is x only. Negative 4 
minus 1 is negative 5 over x plus 1 times x minus 2. So do we have something to simplify? No. This one is already the answer. So I hope guys you learned something from this video on how to subtract rational algebra expressions with similar and dissimilar denominators. So if you're into my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe, but hit the bell button for it to be updated sa ating latest uploads. Again, it's me, Teacher Gon. Maraming maraming salamat and bye!